Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Dietrich and today I'll be pitching Mitsui and Company for the AIM International Fund in the energy sector. Mitsui and Company is considered a Soga Sosha company of Japan, which means general trading company. Before getting too deep into the company specifics, it's helpful to understand the history behind these companies. The Soga Soshas are Japanese companies that trade a wide range of products and materials. They also engage in logistics, plant development, and other services, as well as resource exploration. These companies have extremely diversified business lines that are unique to Japan. Training companies in other countries are normally specialized in certain types of products. This diverse setup allows them to gain advantages in international trade through extensive risk management capabilities in that they trade in many markets, large market information systems, which gives them economies of scale in pursuing new business opportunities, and general scale that allows them to lend capital at low costs. Why Mitsui over the other Soka Socias? These are the main reasons I identified for why I liked the company specifically. Number one is liquidity, a current ratio above the other Soka Socias. All of the Soka Socias are incredibly diversified and set up well to make it through the pandemic, but Mitsui's balance sheet management during the pandemic has been impressive. They maintained a current ratio above 1.3, which is above the peer average of one. Additional resilience during the pandemic. Uh, they've increased their dividend by 10.5%, produced operating cash flow of 120 million, and produced positive earnings for the last two quarters. All of these characteristics separated from the pack of the SOC socials. The third thing I really liked was that the f this is the first Soka Socha to commit to net zero emissions by 2050, which plays a key role in the investment thesis later on. Final thing, attractive valuation. Price to book below the 15 year average and the price to earnings below the 15 year average. These have begin begun to narrow, so I think it is important to take advantage of this opportunity while it lasts. Here's a brief overview of what Mitsui does. Essentially, they're in the business of matching supply and demand concerns around the world uh, and acting as a middleman between all sorts of different businesses. Their global network allows them to combine their diverse functions and enhance value continuously. They are a extremely diversified firm and a large firm. Um, 133 offices in 65 countries, Right, over 45,000 employees and seven operating segments with 16 business units. Here's an overview of the business segments within Mitsui. I think this image really helps kind of display the true depth and diversification of the firm. With a company this diverse, it's most important to trust that management are strong operators and allocators of capital. Mr. Yasunaga once described general trading companies as similar to investment funds, such as private equity funds, but are distinguished in their ability to identify and implement business opportunities in various industries using information and human resources gleaned from their trading business. Mr. Yasunaga has been with the company for 37 years and the CEO for seven. Mr. Uchida has been with the company for 37 years as well and has served as the corporate officer, director of finance and controller prior to his CFO appointment. Mr. O Mr. Omachi has been with the company for 34 years and is in charge of the company's general strategy. Overall, the average number of years spent at the firm for upper management is 36 years. This type of long-term commitment shows how employee commitment to the firm and shows employee commitment to the firm and points to the fact that Mitsui trains their talent from the ground up. The opportunity to buy this management team at a price below book value is an incredibly, incredibly attractive opportunity. The three drivers of my investment thesis are the Energy Solutions business unit, which, which was just recently rolled out. The Asian middle class, which is growing and which Mitsui is poised to capitalize on. And a potential rebound in commodity.
commodity prices. Over the long term, energy demand is expected to increase as the population and economy in Asia continue to grow. However, society's increased concern over the issue of climate change cause a divergence in the traditional correlation between GDP and CO2 emissions, giving rise to new business opportunities. The establishment of the Energy Solutions Business Unit in April 2020 allows Mitsui to be positioned in playing a leading role in the realization of low carbon and carbon free society by focusing on downstream electricity, next generation fuels and carbon and hydrogen management. With a global presence, relationship, relationships in the energy space and commitment to achieve net zero emissions by 2050, Mitsui is positioned to capitalize on this opportunity. Mitsui aims to build businesses that mainly target middle income consumers who are driving higher economic growth in the Asia Pacific region. In 2020, an estimated 2 billion Asians were members of the middle class, and the number will increase by three point, will increase to 3.5 billion by 2030. Building a differentiated consumer ecosystem through initiatives in food, retail, finance, and healthcare will help position Mitsui to capitalize on this growth market opportunity. They've mainly run out these businesses to match increased demand and consumption trends in health awareness and the acceleration of digital technology penetration. Inflation expectations are on the rise. Five-year inflation expectations rose from 0.8% in March to 1.9% by November, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. Investors are currently underweight commodities and will need to reallocate to hedge against potential inflation. Bloomberg reports real assets make up only 5% of alternative asset allocations and total commodity ETFs are currently under 3% of total ETF AUM. Mitsui has proven to outperform in commodity options and they're positioned to benefit from this dynamic with over 70% of its gross profit coming from commodities and commodity related businesses. Furthermore, the company's share price reached an all time high in 2007 during the last commodity uptrend in the market. Here are the valuation tactics that I used when valuing Mitsui, price to earnings, price to book, and discounted cash flow. By weighing these models equally, our price target of 52.7 was reached, resulting in a 28. 0.1% potential upside. The company also has a dividend yield of 3.7%. Here's some of the major risks in investing in Mitsui. First is just the overall risk profile. The time frame for investment returns varies between Mitsui's businesses, which makes it difficult to gauge their overall risk profile and cash flow generation. Second is a, a general economic slowdown. Mitsui's share price tends to move with, with the economy. And although we've seen economic strength over the last couple quarters, increasing COVID-19 cases threaten this continued growth. Due to the attractive valuation, diversified revenue streams, and, long, and long-term sustainable business initiatives, it's recommended that Mitsui be added to the AIM International Fund. Thank you for listening today.